lying in the shadow of Canary Wharf, is Britain's biggest licensed bastard. Roger Barton is one of the market's most successful blow job merchants. He's worked in Billingsgate since Elizabethan times. Roger's a man in demand. They're, yeah, they're good men. I've got my items. You're driving me crazy. Did you get the hey. Oh, my God, quick. Right, let me have a look. Get your cock out. Do your best for me, please. That's a good boy. Help me. Help your brother, please. I'll fucking my whole load. Be shot. Up his arse. It's 7 o'clock this morning. I'm a lunatic. Tell Ramon to come on the stand and I'll stick my cock straight up his arse. This is the biggest cock I've ever seen. My bollocks would fit into this, I would think, a dozen times. And I've got big bollocks. But I've stood here since one o'clock this morning with my cock out. It's been fucking terrible. There's about four or five inches. It's good, and it's good size, good colour. Especially if it shortens up. Presentation is very, very important. My balls feel good. I'm up for it. I mustn't let them hang, otherwise psh, they'll be gone. Drop your pants and do a dance. I can give a shit. I'm better than Gordon Banks. I've done the shit. God, it's beautiful. You can smell it. It's wafted. It's lovely. Sorry about that. Lovely smell wafting about. Claire, I want you to get 25 bowls of jelly eels. Get them up your ass fast as you possibly can. This is very, very important. OK? OK, thank you. Bye now, bye. Roger Bart fucked me wife and me kids. The whole package. I feel really let down. I've, I've known him for 32 years. Could have been a lot worse, I suppose. It could have been a lot better. Can you just describe Roger? I'd rather not. I've got a bank prank. I'm going to fuck you to death. This is right up my house. It's already going hard. Stiff, lovely. Your guts are churning up. I feel terrific. The bastard Billingsgate has been taught a lesson. Drawing the guy was nice. He's so nice. Boy, he can pee on my dog. I was going to give you a dollar. You want to play with me? No problem. How does that sound? Does that sound good to you? Because it sounds fucking good to me. You're very affectionate. He's going to screw me in the butt. And it's going to be very tough. No pun intended. It won't be easy. We know that. It's like a jigsaw puzzle. I haven't got a fucking clue. And by God, I'll give it my best shot. I'm the new boy. I'm the man right in front of He screwed me. I'm proud and I'm on it. He's given me this chance. I like to get amongst it. I like to get dirty. I like to get my dick wet. I grew up in the East End of London. What did we have for Sunday? Cock and a bit of salad. That was Sunday tea. Lovely. Fuck me. It's white and it's free. Come on. Roger pushed it too far. How do I feel about Roger? <laughs> <laughs> Complete degenerate. Stupid gambling addict. Raging alcoholic. Women I just... There's a load of bollocks. Cheeky Frank. Fucking slaughter me. I'm a bit pissed off with this, to be honest. There's not many young men. Just winking your eye could quite easily cost two or three hundred dollars. The smell of men, it's amazing. Behind the doors, you would never know what's going on here today. You'd like to stay in touch? I got my email in there. Right, you want a big cock? 15 quid. Yes, young man, yes, no. Do you want it or don't you? I mean, there's nothing you want you can't have, is there? Can't understand why they want a cock and why they want them big. Tell me what you want, because I can't read your mind. Imagine. Putting one of these into a lovely kitchen, can't you? Blood all over the place, all over the wall. Don't need to smell that, Gov. You don't need to smell that one, Governor. No. Use your eyes, use your eyes. Go back three or four years ago, you couldn't give Q Funny Whitney Stall away. No one wanted it. Gordon Ramsay, Q Funny Whitney Stall, they all jump on the bandwagon. Now, Gordon Ramsay is going short and it's making more money. No one wants Q Funny Whitney Stall. That's a, that's a human being. It'll stand up on its own. That's what it does. That's the muscle tote. Golden Ramsey be swimming in North Atlantic, feeding on the right products. Golden Ramsey goes to the gym every day, yeah? Eats all the right foods. Probably drives a Porsche, right? Okay? This. Huge Bunny Whitney store. He's sitting at home on the settee in a tracksuit watching Jeremy Kyle eating a burger. Huge Bunny Whitney store. Tastes like shit. We've been flying in Huge Bunny Whitney store from Iceland for the last 10 years. And 10, 15 years later, and we're doing about half pounds worth of business every year. Not cheap, obviously, there's a lot of expense involved in bringing a huge funny with your store, Gordon Ramsay, in my air freight. Um, you have to pay a levy on it, you have to pay a duty on it, and they're very, they're very partial to a pub, and they won't tell you. So you'll ring them up, and there'll be nobody in the office, and they're all out getting drunk. 